Are we recording? Okay. Let me move out. Now make an intro, right? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Hey guys, I feel a little bit better. My name is Reverso, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. Yeah, I really do feel a little bit better, so I just figured I'd take some time here to talk about some Pokemon Go news. So first and foremost, there's been a mail sent out to people that were attending GoFest, offering the refunds finally. Um, and then they also talked about that it might take up to seven business days for people to get their Pokecoins and their Lugia. So we're talking about $100 worth of Pokecoins, which is essentially 14,000 Pokecoins. I think they sh could have done that sooner. I really feel they should do this within this event that is happening right now. It is really cool that the event got extended, but if you really want to, you know, make the people that attended GoFest happy, then do it now. Like, do it ASAP. Or make it like a shiny Lugia. How would that be? That'd be really cool. I don't care if the IVs are great, but if I have a shiny Lugia, hey, I feel really special if that's the case. But you know, yeah, Niantic, you do your thing. Um, I want to talk about more legendaries coming to Pokemon Go. So over here, I have it on my phone here, we have an update regarding Pokemon Go Fest in Chicago. Now the thing is that this post was not released on PokemonGoLive.com, but it was released on the official Niantic blog site. So, um, essentially, uh, I need to take a sip of water because my throat. <coughs> so in here, John Hankey made a blog post. He actually said players were disappointed with their experience that morning. Uh, we heard boos and shouts from the crowd. Uh, we'd like to update you on what caused the issues. So, just read up on it. It's kind of long, uh, but it gives you some insight. So, if you're open-minded, and you're willing to take a listen to what John, John Hankey has to say officially, make sure I'll link it down in the description down below. More specifically in this post, uh, and, and here he is by the way, sitting on stage. He was sitting there the entire afternoon talking to people, just you know, offering a listening ear, so that way players were heard. And after talking to him, a lot of the players were a little bit more relieved, so that way you know, they got more than just, you know, the announcements. They got an actual person to talk to, which I think, you know, massive fan, I got a newfound respect for John Hankey after he has been doing that for hours upon hours, upon hours in the heat at GoFest. And most likely people being really upset or angry at him. I mean, people were throwing like bottles on, on stage and, and booing him out during stream where literally uh, tens of thousands of people were actually watching, you know? Going through that, not the best experience in your life. Anyway, let's focus on the cool stuff. Or maybe not so cool. Let's, let's talk about this. As these events unfold, trainers all around the world will have a chance to capture even more legendary Pokemon. Based on the efforts on Saturday at Pokemon Go Fest, Lugia and Articuno were unlocked. They have a really low catch rate. From what I've heard, it's like 2% per ball, not per encounter, but per ball. And then if you use a Raz, Golden Raz, uh, if you use Golden Raz and you get like an accident with a curve, it increases up to like 20% catch rate, so something like that. But still, really, really low. But there's going to be more legendaries. Moltres and Zapdos are going to be released very soon. So Articuno will stay until the 31st of July, the final day of July. Monday. Then it's going to alternate with Moltres. That Moltres will be uh, available for a week until the 7th of August. And after that, Zapdos is going to become available inside of the game. And Zapdos will be available until the 14th of August. So over here, I kind of hear concerns like, hey, am I going to be able to catch these Pokemon if I live in a rural area? And to be straight up with you guys, you might not. But, I don't think that these Pokemon will disappear forever. I, I'm firmly under the understanding that these Pokemon at some point will be coming back to Pokemon Go. But, I think it would be a really great time after Articuno, Moltres and Zapdos to introduce the other legendary Pokemon because there's a lot of them. You also got Mewtwo. You got Mew and Celebi which aren't legendary which, but they are mythical Pokemon so that might be an event on its own. Uh, but then you also have 
Entei, Suicune, Raikou, the three legendary dogs. Um, and yeah, so there's a lot of legendary Pokemon, and of course Ho-Oh. So there's a lot of legendary Pokemon. If they're gonna be alternating every single week, uh, I think that's going to be really cool. I also feel that after all the legendaries have been released inside of Pokemon Go, that it would be a really great moment to actually release Generation 3, which I, I kind of, from the bottom of my heart, really hope that they will. Seeing as the hype is still kind of ongoing for Pokemon Go, I feel that Niantic should be, you know, playing in on that. Plugging in and be like, hey, Generation 3, make sure, like, if, if Generation 3 were to be released this summer, it would basically set us for the rest of 2017, even into early 2018, where we can make maybe expect like a new generation, new features, trading, PvP, all that sort of stuff. Player versus player, for those of you guys who don't know what PvP is. So, I don't think these legendary Pokemon will be gone forever. I believe they will be cycled through. I might be wrong, but this is just my speculation right now. Um, so yeah, once again, these, these Pokemon are just incredibly hard to catch. I think I saw someone with a catch rate of 14 seen Articuno and caught zero. So uh, practice your excellent curve throws, uh, so to speak. But yeah, it might be kind of doubtful, but at the same time, it is really cool. Legendaries, you know, I, I, I feel people being like, yeah, but we must have some sort of chance to catch these legendary Pokemon. Of which do I say, if you play the actual Pokemon games, like Pokemon Red and Blue, or Fire Red, or Leaf Green, then you know that these legendary Pokemon are incredibly tough to catch. So maybe Niantic should release uh, the Master Ball, because that'd be pretty cool. Anyway, leave your thoughts, opinions in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to think. Uh, throw your theories down there, because I might be wrong, but I'm really curious. Uh, I honestly think it would be cool. As, as a player, it would excite me to have a limited chance of catching these legendary Pokemon because it makes me really engage with the game, it makes me want to play the game. And that's what Niantic needs, that's what Pokemon Go needs. They need to give players the incentive of willing to play the game because that makes the game so much more exciting. So that's why legendary raids are so awesome. I honestly believe that after Go Fast, Niantic, honest feedback here, I feel that you devalued legendaries. I've seen people with over a hundred Articunos. That is, is, that's too much. That is honestly too ridiculous and too much. I, I think they should have never done it like that. I really feel that they should have given us like the first legendary, a guaranteed catch, and then maybe like an increased chance from regular, but never a hundred percent so many times. I honestly like, uh, that's, that's what I feel. Anyway, thoughts, opinions, leave them in the comment section down below. <coughs> My throat's giving out, so I'm gonna wrap this up here. I wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your get well soon wishes and everything like that. It's very heartwarming, very touching. But yeah, this is the first Pokemon Go. I'm gonna be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.